Hi, this is Tyler with fluiditystudio.com, and today I'm going to be going over my new um, Digital Pour tap list uh, plugin. Um, Digital Pour is a company that is growing rapidly, and they are working with breweries, tap houses, you know, growler stations, um, bars to uh, integrate their uh, tap system with their point of sale so that everybody can stay up to date with um, what, what do they have on tap and how much do they have left in that keg. Uh, it's a really cool system. These guys are um, awesome and they're, they're, what they're doing is incredible. Um, but a lot of the bars, especially in our area, are picking this up and using the system. And what, what Digital Pour gives you is they give you a online version that a lot of people either embed on their website, they iframe it, um, or they put it on their Facebook page in a tab. Um, but then again, mobile on mobile devices, that's not viewable. You can't go to the tab um, for the tap it, taps on on a mobile device. So uh, what they give you, I'm going to go over that here. So this is uh, this is what their like display looks like on the TVs on the screens inside the shops. Um, inside the actual brick and mortar locations, um, they have a couple of different. They have a lot of different styles. Apparently, that you can choose from. This is what I see locally. I see a lot of like this, uh, pretty much everywhere I go. And I don't. I haven't really seen any of this stuff. Apparently, they have where there's social media stuff when people check in and um, you know Instagram pictures and stuff. Um, I haven't seen a place that has that up there yet. But um, they have everything else on there. Uh, but what I did was I wrote a plugin that integrates this with your website because Digital Pour gives you um, information, a feed to put on your own website, um, and you can do that, do with what you want with that. But what they what they give typical people is something like this, and it generally gets iframed into a website, and it's horrible because especially when it goes mobile, you have this scroll bar within a website. If they were to iframe this in their website there would be a scroll bar and you just have to scroll um, and you'd have a scroll bar here and then a scroll bar here as well and uh, some of these lists most of them have these little like cheap keg icons these little there's some pixelated issues with them too but um, this one doesn't have any I just found these randomly I don't even know where these tap tap lists are from um, but they give you logos and it looks like that logo is broken and uh, you get the oh there's something in Spokane there uh, you get different information listed and then it tells you generally tells you what's what percentage is left of the keg um, in this case there this graphic gives you an idea of how much is left in each keg and as they get lower the color changes um, and then there's a just tapped um, which I haven't found any, any information on. I've just had to monitor these and found that about 15 hours after they've been tapped that this just tapped starts to slowly fade away um, for their system, how they've set this up on their um, page they give you to iframe. And it just kind of fades out and gets lower less and less and less until it's gone. So <clears throat> I just kind of timed that to find out how long it took. And what I did was I wrote a plug-in that looks like this in the end and it's mobile friendly it sizes down and it lists so when you mouse over if you hover over one of these it will tell you what the percentage remaining is that one's 75 percent and if there was one that was just tapped and it's still before the 15 hour mark you can turn that on in the admin to show just tapped now none of these these are all past the 15 hour mark oh no that one isn't so there's a there's a just tapped right there and you have control over um, colors and things um, you can change the shape of the logo from you know square to rounded and have a border around it you can change the background color of the number so d1 d2 d3 are domestic brews and then the rest are your um, you know your imports and all that and <clears throat> You can change the color behind here. You can change this from circle to a square. So there's a lot of customization. You can change the background gradient on 
um, each of these containers. And then I'll show you what it does when it goes mobile. So it, it starts to size down and then it just stacks. And of course, since there's a lot of information, some of these titles are, are very long. It depends on the brew and what the name is. Like that's a long title. So it ends up pushing content down a little further. And then you end up, you know, you're kind of stuck with some of this space over here just because some of these titles are so long. Um, but try to stack it as nice and neat. So you have a nice, you know, mobile look. Bring this back up. So what we'll look at is um, styling this from the admin. So once you install the plugin, um, you if you're with Digital Pour, obviously you're going to be using this. Um, it's not worth it, worth it to you if you don't have Digital Pour. But they'll give you your API URL with a key in it. So they give that to you and you'll uh, paste that in here and then you can select your background colors for everything. Now I'm not gonna mess with this too much because this is a live site, a live website, and this is um, uh, actual business that is using the plugin. So um, <laughs> what I change will change their style on their live website. So I'll just kind of briefly go over and I'll show you some things quickly and I'll change it back. But um, this ID number is this here. So all these green circles, the color can be changed just by selecting a color and changing it. Simple as that. Change the background color of the circle with ID, with, um, ID number. Default color is called Dingley, which is, which is this color. Um, you can change the uh, ID background shape from circle to squared. So I'll just do that real quick and we'll update. Because this is a simple change. And I'll refresh and you'll see that all those went to square. And then I can change the Brewer logo from square to circle. And I'll refresh. And you'll see that all of these go to circles. Now there are some circle logos, so things look like they get cut off. And this is why I um, added a border option to the um, logos, just in case. So lo logo border, you turn that on. And we save it. Then now we'll get borders around the logos. For those that kind of get cut off, you know, and look funky, um, you don't want to, you don't want to have a non-border around it because it'll just, it'll look weird. So there's the option for a circle logo with a, with a border around it. You can also um, change the border color. It doesn't have to be black. So what we'll do is we'll take this back off. We'll change this back to squared. Change that to circular. Just so we have this back to the way it was. Don't want to mess with their stuff too much. Okay. And then we'll take a look at some other stuff. So here's the item top gradient, which is just a really light gray, and the bottom gradient, which is a, a dark, darker gray. And that is what you see here. So it goes from that darker gray to a lighter gray. And you can change those gradients to whatever colors you want just by using a color selector. Um, separate columns. So this on or off, it's on right now. That means that there's a separation here. If it's off, they just kind of blend, the background will blend together. They'll still be, you know, separated here by padding, but this, this white separation will no longer be there. You can change the brewer name color. So right now I have them set to black. You can also change the um, <laughs> beer name color. Thought I had thought I saw brewer name twice. The beer name color, which is this one. And I have that kind of an orange color. 
And then you can change the text color, which is your basic text, all the rest of the stuff here. Okay. And then your link color. So I have it black, um, but these are links to um, Beer Advocate and RateBeer.com for, for these particular brewers and their beer. And here's our just tapped. So if I was to turn that off, then you wouldn't see this just tapped a message pop up here. It would, it would never show up. But as it is, like I said, if you leave it on, it'll only show up for the first 15 hours that it was tapped and then it will disappear. Uh, digital pour logo. So this is white or black. Um, did this because maybe you have a darker background on your website and instead of a white one like this, and when you get down to the bottom, there's powered by digital pour. So this is bright enough on a, on a darker background, but powered by would disappear on a, it could be disappear on a darker background. So if, it, if you changed this to white, then powered by would be in white. So that's all that means. Um, but digital pour requires that this logo is there. So it's either one or the other. And then all you have to do is copy and paste this from bracket to bracket here, the short code, and put it in any page you want, and it will show up. So if we take a look at the pages, uh, I titled this page, What's on Tap? And all that's in it is that short code. And then that's what you see that shows up. So this is a lot different than than what they what they give you by default. And so you're pretty much you have to know someone who can do this for you, or do it yourself if you have the capability to make something um, that looks a lot better than than this that they give you. So. I've given a lot of control over colors and shapes of the, um, you know, circle or square for logos and the IDs, background colors, all that good stuff. This is a really um, great plugin to display your taps, uh, tap list on your website and let all of your patrons know what you have. And this, you know, if they come here and they check and they're like, okay, well, they're getting down pretty low. I should probably go get a, you know, fill my growler up before they run out. Um, but it keeps everybody knowing what's what you got on tap so they can come in and, and enjoy a nice brew. So uh, that's it for the Digital Pour tap list plugin. I hope you guys like it. I hope you find it useful. And we'll catch you later. <laughs>